Hey guys, what's up? This is Val from Geomat. In today's video, I want to show you why you should ignore 90% of Dash Studio. I know, it kind of sounds counterintuitive, right? But in, I'm going to actually show you how to ignore 90% of Dash Studio and why you should do that. I do that. Here's why. So when you first load Dash Studio, obviously we don't get this cool fancy scene. I've got here pre-made, right? But if you look at all the windows, there's like everything is like gazing right at you, right? You have install, smart content, shading, surfaces, scene parameters, content tools. You've got these sub menus up here, lights and cameras and render. You've got additional icons down here and here and it all kind of collides. And at least to me, it's kind of overwhelming right it's enough to digest a new software but come on this is like too much so as i started you know you know me i've been using dash studio since 2005 in teaching it so if you know me then you know that i like things fast right i like things moving fast and i like immediate results so i kind of over the time started to see well how can we reduce all that right and eventually i came up with a really cool concept and it's like this it's a thing you can install and it's a layout preset so you go up here to window workspace and hit customize at the very bottom it says import now the thing i'm going to show you now the file the layout is included for free in the seven mistakes seven biggest studio mistakes free mini course we have a link to that below this video in the description field right i'm going to show you how that looks basically you hit import and you go ahead just choose layouts click on okay and right inside that folder, you can download this for free. You get this file. Click on it, hit open. That immediately rearranges everything. Then you're gonna click on apply and accept. And then one more thing, I'm gonna go to window, workspace, uh, sorry, select style and choose dark side. Click on okay. Now, this is the kind of area I use, right? It's a lot less cluttered. It has a very logical setup from locating content to loading it all in the same space to adjusting it, to adjusting its look, all the main windows, the render settings, everything is here and all the other stuff is pretty much turned off. And that's how you can immediately bypass 90% of Dash Studio. And not only that, it kind of removes all the clutter, all the overwhelm, and also 90% of stuff you don't need to learn, right? And so guys, this is actually one of the seven mistakes is to going through everything you don't have to. So go ahead, download the seven, seven biggest mistakes mini course below. You get this free layout included and this girl as well, by the way, and some other cool stuff. So guys, that's all for today. That's how you can immediately bypass 90% of that studio. I do this and frankly, you can create really professional stuff with just the 10% that's left. I do, I see that on a, on a daily basis when I use Dash Studio and I see that on all the studios we have. So guys, that's all for now. Thanks so much for watching. Go ahead, check that link below and I see you next time.